the holiday season has begun, so let's make a fun varsity style t-shirt using iron on vinyl. I am using flocked iron on and gold glitter iron on for this project. You can use any iron on you want, but I thought I'd mix the textures. And we're starting in Cricut Design Space. I am using this word joyful, which I just downloaded from Canva because I liked the font style and it's a free font that you can download yourself. So I just wrote the word in there and downloaded it as a transparent background. You can also just remove the background when you upload it into Cricut. So in Design Space, we're going to use the offset tool up at the top to create a border, which is gonna be our gold layer. Now, if you have done iron-on before, you know you cannot layer over glitter vinyl. So what we're going to do is select these two layers and do a slice here at the bottom right. And once we slice the image, we are going to have three pieces and we can just go ahead and delete this middle part and leave this outline, which is going to be our gold layer. So this makes it so that we can iron on both of these vinyls and not layer over the glitter. And here is my design all sized and ready to go. I am just going to take the inside uh, letters and change the color so that it separates the two cuts on separate mats. And just don't forget to mirror the images when you go to cut this out because it is ironed on. Um, I will have this project linked um, so you can find it in my uh, Cricut Design Space profile if you wanna just go ahead and use my design. Um, but yes, just follow the prompts and choose the iron-on that you're using for your shirt and then go to Cricut uh, Heat Guide to figure out the temperature and press settings for, for this project. So here is my cutout and I went ahead and creased the center line of my shirt for placement and then I'm going to preheat it to get out any moisture and use my lint roller to remove any fine dust that I cannot see. And this uh, project required a 30 second press at a 330 degree heat setting. So that is what I did for each of my layers. Now I did wait for this to cool to the touch before I peeled off the carrier sheet, which is this plastic layer on top. But I saved that because you'll see in a second, my uh, inner letters did not fit perfectly in there when it was all one piece. So what I did is just cut apart uh, several of the letters so that I could make sure the letter fit properly inside the outline. I hope this is making sense and I'll zoom in in a second so that you can see how I'm placing it just to make sure that it's not layering on top of the glitter vinyl. So here you can see I'm kind of just stretching and pressing that flocked vinyl into place to make sure it is directly on the shirt and not on the glitter vinyl at all before I go ahead and press this all on. And I have gone ahead and washed the shirt. I've worn it once and the vinyl is just fine. So go ahead and let me know in the comments if you will try this project. What do you think about this varsity lettering trend that's happening right now? I just love it and I think it's so fun, especially with this flocked vinyl. And this is the final press. I just went ahead and pressed the whole thing once more just for good measure. And here is the final result. Let me know your thoughts on this project in the comments and go ahead and subscribe and like for more Christmas projects.